Okay. So welcome back, everyone. <laughs> and uh, did you get my material with the recording of uh, the video and uh, the verb chart uh, you asked uh, and everything? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to do today? <laughs> Any suggestion? Listening. No. <laughs> Listening? Okay. No oh, by the way, sorry, <laughs> Stefano has asked me to tell you about one of the projects that Europol is uh, participating in, and it's called STEM, which is an acronym, an acronym for S Science, T Technology, E Engineering, and M math, mathematics, yes. STEM. And it's a very, very nice project. And there are very nice videos, short, four or five minutes each, very easy English, which we might have a look at. For example, just a second. For example, if I go to chronology, I should find, because I've looked at some of the videos, uh, um, something like yesterday, maybe the day before yesterday. Um, just a second. So we can have a look at that and then we can talk about it. Maybe this one. I'm not sure it's this one. Yes. Okay, so if you are ready, we yes. can have a look at this short video and then we can talk about it. Is that okay for you? Yes. Okay. okay, yes. Okay. Right. Then, if you want to practice your listening skills, I can send you easy, maybe uh, stories to listen to or little short videos, uh, these kind of things. Because, yes, it's important to listen and practice. So, let's have a look at this one. Do you want the sub Sorry, do you want the subtitles or not? Not. No. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's watch it, watch it first without subtitles. Okay. Yes, yes. And then we can watch it again with the subtitles and see what we didn't understand. Perfect. Okay. Have you ever had a question about the world? Like what plants need to grow? Or how to blow bigger bubbles? There is a way to find the answer to these and other questions that is used by scientists. It is called the scientific method. If you use it, you can be a scientist too. The scientific method is a way to ask and answer scientific questions by making observations and doing experiments. There are six simple steps to follow. First, ask a question or identify the problem you would like to solve. Second, make observations and do research about your topic. Observation means to study carefully. Once you have observed and researched your problem, you are ready for step three, form a hypothesis. A hypothesis is an educated guess about how something works. In order to be useful, a hypothesis needs to be testable. This means that you can actually test it and see whether it is true or not. After you have your hypothesis, move on to step four. Design an experiment and test your hypothesis. When designing an experiment, you must be sure to only test one thing at once. You can do this by making sure to only change one thing or variable in each experiment. Everything else must remain the same. Once you have completed your experiment, analyze your data. To do this, you will look at the results of your experiment and try to figure out what it means. Finally, using your data, you can draw a conclusion. If your conclusion did not support or agree with your hypothesis, that's okay. It doesn't mean it was a bad experiment. Using the information from your first experiment, you may need to form a new hypothesis 
and create a new experiment to test it. Even if your conclusion does support your hypothesis, you may have a new question you'd like to test and can begin the scientific process all over again. The scientific method is a step-by-step -step way to solve problems and answer questions logically. Thanks to the scientific method, many important discoveries have been made about our world, but many unanswered questions remain. Would you like to help answer them? You can. Just remember to be scientific. Ask a question, make observations, form a hypothesis, design an experiment and test that hypothesis, analyze your data, and draw a conclusion. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't too bad, was it? Right, so let's watch and eat with the subtitles. Oh, by the way, do you know how to put subtitles? So, I mean, okay. In, can you see my screen, can't you? Yes. On the bottom yeah. uh, right part, yeah. there is uh, this uh, kind of uh, little monitor. If you click on it, you can switch on the subtitles. Okay. When there's uh, the lead underline, it means uh, the subtitles are on. When there's no red uh, line, it means they're off. Or yes. another possibility is to go on settings. On settings, um, wait a second. Sure. On settings, you can switch on the subtitles sometimes in more than one in, in, in uh, one languages here there's only english uh, but sometimes uh, there are more languages you can also slow down uh, the the speak uh, by going to playback speed this is normal speed but you can slow it down by putting for example mm. 0.75 or 0.50 or 0.25, uh, no, not 0.25 because you listen something like, <laughs> <laughs> but maybe 0.75 can be useful sometimes. Uh, I often also use uh, the uh, to accelerate uh, it uh, when I want to know if a video can be useful for my class, but I don't have uh, maybe 20 minutes to watch it all. I accelerate it and <laughs> get an idea and say, yes, yes, so this is okay. But for you, it's probably useful to slow it down. And this is a way to slow it down. Okay, so let's go back. <laughs> Come scusa, Valeria? Uh, sorry, sorry. Ah, I'm okay. Sorry. It's a, he's a hair doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. It's very useful. It can be very useful. So, uh, yes. So, let's go back to our subtitles and let's start the video again. We can also stop and uh, uh, maybe... Maybe we can stop sentence by sentence and see if there's something you want to be explained or you didn't understand or something. Let's talk. Have you ever had a question about the world? Like what plants need to grow? Or how hmm. have you ever had a question about the world? Like what plants need to grow? To grow. Yeah. How to blow something. Quindi, have you ever had, avete mai avuto una domanda sul mondo? Quando c'è questa, um, come si chiama, uh, insomma, questa parola ever, di solito si usa il, uh, uh, il passato prossimo. Have you ever had a question? Have you ever been to England? Have you ever uh, watched uh, a film? Have you ever met uh, Paolo? And so on and so on. Have you ever and uh, past participle of the main word? Okay. Have you ever had a question about the word? Like what plants need to grow? Any questions? Shall we go on? Uh, blow. What does it mean, blow? Grow, crescere. Grow, no, no. Dire... no. Window. No, blow. Yes. Window. Blow. Ah, blow. 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 blow, 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 blow,
Blow in the wind. wind. Blow in the wind. Blow in the wind. The, the song. Exactly. Song. Blowing in the wind. The famous Bob Dylan song. Blowing in the wind. Soffiando nel vento. La risposta soffia nel vento. Blow. Uh, blowing in the wind. Quindi blow vuol dire soffiare. Ok. Thank you. No problems. How to blow bigger bubbles. There is a way to find the answer to these and other questions that is... There is so in quel caso era blow bigger bubbles. Soffiare delle bolle più grandi. Bigger è il comparativo di maggioranza. Deriva da big, siccome è un aggettivo short, breve, aggiunge er e poi raddoppia la g, vabbè, bigger, bigger bubbles. Uh, do you know the comparatives? Do you want me to tell you about them? Well, let's go on for the meantime. Yeah. <laughs> there is a way to find the answer. C'è un modo. Per okay. trovare. C'è un modo per trovare. La risposta a questo. Eh, sì. A a questo la risposta a queste e ad altre domande. La risposta a queste e ad altre domande. Altre domande. Ok. Volevo, scusate, ammutolirvi perché... Eh, eh, sì. No, vabbè, se volete parlare però non chiacchierate di sottofondo perché sennò viene fuori un casotto. No. Ok, so there's a way, there's a way. Ok, c'è un modo. Is there a way to find out? C'è un modo, domanda, quindi there's a way. It's used by scientists. It is called the scientific method. If you use it, you can be a scientist too. Okay, there's a way used by scientists, usata dagli scienziati. It's called the scientific method. If you use it, you can be a scientist too. Okay, quindi dalla parola science potiamo, possiamo eh, ottenere scientific, che è l'aggettivo, scientist, che è il nome, eh, ok, science. science. <ride> sì, eh, sì è vero, è una pronuncia un po' strana. Science, come se mm. questa fosse una S. Science, scientific, scientist. Mm -hmm. Ok. The scientific method is a way to ask and answer scientific questions by making observations and doing it. Ci siamo? Yes. Experiment. Yes. There are six simple steps to follow. First, ask a question or identify the problem you would like to solve. Mm -hmm. Second, make observations and do research about your topic. Observation means to study carefully. Once you have observed and researched your problem, you are ready for step three. Form a hypothesis. A hypothesis is an educated guess about how something works. Okay, hypothesis is an educated guess. È una... Uh, guess vuol dire indovinare. È educated nel senso istruita. Educated non vuol dire educata, eh? vuol dire... Infatti, education è l'istruzione. Ok, vuol dire istruita. Quindi, un'ipotesi istruita, basata su qualcosa di, di ragionevole, diciamo. Hypothesis, hypothesis, ok? Hypothesis. Um, sorry, teacher, um, which is the right pronunciation of a, ha, o e, 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 hypothesis? Because I have, I heard ha, hypothesis. Ah, this A. Uh, okay, that's very different from British English ah, and, and American. American English okay. and so on. In British English, it's A, mm. or N, N educated, A hypothesis. In American English, it's more A, oh. A hypothesis, uneducated. Mm -hmm. uh, but in British English, which I tended to speak, to be honest, is A. Mm -hmm. Anything okay. between A and R is acceptable because, of course, English is a language spoken all over the world and sometimes uh, 
Australian English, American English, British English, or even inside the UK, Scottish uh, English is very different from Oxford English, for example. So anything between A and A is acceptable, to be honest. But British English tends to be an A, A, A hypothesis, A, 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 a an educated. A hypothesis is an educated guess about how something works. Okay. Um, yes. In order to, vuol dire, in modo da, per fare qualcosa, in order to, il tuo adesso comparirà. Okay. Any other question? No questions? Let's go. In order to be useful, a hypothesis needs to be testable. This means that you can actually test it and... In order to be useful, per essere utile, use useful, mm -hmm. a hypothesis needs to be testable. Un hypothesis deve essere provabile, testable, provabile con un test, okay? Uh, needs, uh, needs, to need vuol dire aver bisogno di. I need you, I need you, I need you. Però, um, eh, sì, in questo caso vuole anche dire deve, deve essere, ok, ha bisogno di essere nel senso che deve essere. Mm -hmm. Quindi per essere utile, in order to be useful, prendete nota se volete, volete che le scriva sul, dov'è qua finita adesso? Uh, non trovo più la chat. Vabbè, scrivete voi. In order to be, in order to something, e poi need, need, uh, ok? Perché sono parole molto, molto usate. Uh -huh. E poi c'è questo modo, mm, ok? In English, it's very, very easy to form new words. First of all, Verbs are often also nouns and adjectives and so on. You can make a verb from a noun and vice versa. Si può facilmente fare un verbo dal nome, fare un nome dal un sostantivo dal verbo, un aggettivo, eh, sono molto intercambiabili. Um, oppure oppure eh, i nomi, per esempio, dei verbi possono essere fatti aggiungendo eh, full. Più che nome, questo è un aggettivo, full. Use... Usare useful, utile, pieno di uso sarebbe. Full sarebbe scritto con due L, ma quando è combinato perde la seconda L. Useful, ok? Uh, beauty, beautiful. Um, I don't know. Uh, stressful. Eh? Stressful. Stressful, exactly. Stressful. And so mindful. On. Mindful. Mindful, esatto. <laughs> e invece um, la, uh, il sostantivo generale, general noun, è spesso fatto aggiungendo able. Test, testable. Testabile, eh. come dire, testabile. Testabile. Abile, Probabile. able, like Italian. Sì, come in italiano in questo caso. Testabile, però l'italiano ha preso, mi sa, la, lingua, la, la parola dell'inglese. Comunque testabile nel senso di provabile, che si può provare con un test, diciamo. Ok, quindi, a hypothesis needs to be testable. This means, ciò significa, anche questo è molto usato, this means that you can actually test it, che si può eh, effettivamente provarlo and see whether it is true or not and see whether it's true or not e vedere se è vero o no questo whether è come if vuol dire se whether it's true or not if è più usato stavi chiedendo Veronica qual è la differenza <laughs> yes. if è più usato nelle eh, frasi eh, condizionali if it rains mm. I won't go out mm. se piove non uscirò quando c'è una conseguenza if then ipotetica 
Senti, sì, ipotetiche, nelle, ipotetiche, senti, sì. nelle ipotetiche, esatto. Invece whether è usato mm. indifferentemente, non, è, non c'è bisogno che, sia, che ci sia un'ipotetica. Whether mm. it's true or not, mm. se è vero o no, se sia vero o no. Se sia vero o no in italiano, vi ricordo che il nostro gerundio condizionale, io sono negato in grammatica, gente, ve lo dico subito. Um, è, okay. In inglese non esiste, è tradotto con il verbo corrispondente dell'indicativo. Quindi se sia vero, diventa se è vero. Se fosse vero, diventa se era vero. Ok? Se fosse stato vero, diventa se era stato vero. Quindi non esiste la nostra forma, cos'è? Condizionale? Congiuntivo. 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 Vabbè, si traduce con il verbo corrispondente dell'indicativo. Quindi se è presente, il presente. Se è passato, il passato. Se è trapassato, o il trapassato. Ok, whether it's true or not. After you have your hypothesis, move on to step four. Design an experiment and test your hypothesis. When designing an experiment, you must be sure. When designing, quando state programmando, disegnando, organizzando un esperimento, um, questa forma in ing è molto molto usata in inglese. Anche noi tante volte usiamo il, l'infinito, invece loro usano la forma in ing. Eh, noi usiamo a volte un'intera frase quando state programmando un esperimento, loro designing, ok? When designing an experiment, you must be sure to only test one thing at a time. One at a time. Uno alla volta. Be sure to only test one thing at once. Okay, you at can once. do this. Ah, va bene anche at once. At a time oppure at once, alla volta. Alla volta. Di nuovo, you can do this by making sure, ok? Eh, assicurandovi, eh, essendo sicuri, to only change one thing or variable in each experiment. By making sure to only change one thing or variable in each experiment. Everything else must remain the same. Once you have completed your experiment, analyze your data. To do this, you will look at the results of your experiment and try to figure out what it means. Yeah. To figure, to figure? To figure out, immaginare. Mm-hmm. To figure out. Uh, bisogna analizzare il, l'esperimento and try to figure out what it means. E cercare di immaginare che cosa significa. Mm-hmm. O che cosa significhi in italiano? Is it different from uh, imagine? Sì, perché imagine, allora, that's from imagination and it's um, something connected with fantasy. Okay. Figure out means uh, um, immaginare... Try to think about, try to think about... No. Sì, sì. No. Eh, no. Immaginare nel senso di ricavare da, da qualcosa, capito? Mm-hmm. Um, dedurre. So. Dedurre forse, dai. Dedurre. <coughs> sì. Ok? Mm-hmm. Finally, using your data, you can draw a conclusion. If your conclusion did not support or agree with your hypothesis, that's ok. It doesn't mean it was a bad experiment. Using the information from your first experiment, you may need to form a new hypothesis and create a new experiment to test it. Mm. Okay. Even if your conclusion does support your hypothesis, you may have a new question you'd like to test and can begin the scientific process all over again. All over again, di nuovo. All over again. Eh, Maria Pia? Sì. Um, in the... Oddio, come si dice precedente? Previous. Previous, yeah, here. Even if... Uh, it's right. Does support instead of supports. Ah, ok. Uh, it's ok. Uh, è più uh, rafforzato. Does support. You could say, even if your conclusion uh, 
supports uh, it's correct uh, grammatically but if you want to stress it to make it more um, how can i say stressful even if your conclusions does support questo okay. does è un rafforzativo ok per dire i work every day lavoro tutti i giorni I do work every day. Io cavoli se lavoro tutti i giorni. <ride> C'è questa differenza, ho capito? Oh, sì. okay. He works to, on Sunday. Lui lavora domenica. He does work on Sunday. Eh sì che lavora di domenica, cavoli. Ok? È più rafforzato. Quindi in questo caso, even if your conclusion does support your hypothesis, anche se la, tua, la vostra conclusione supporta l'ipotesi, veramente supporta l'ipotesi, però potreste avere una nuova domanda. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. You may have a new question. Uh, even is another Just, if. Okay. Scusa Veronica? Even. Even if. Uh, even is... if vuol dire Not... anche se. Ah, anche. Okay. Even if vuol dire anche se. Mm -hmm. Sì, è molto usato anche even if. Mm -hmm. okay. Even if, anche se. scientific process all over again. The scientific method is a step-by-step -step way to solve problems and answer questions logically. Thanks to the scientific method, many important discoveries have been made about our world, but many unanswered questions remain. Would you like to help answer them? You can. Just remember to be scientific. Ask a question. Make observations, form a hypothesis, design an experiment and test that hypothesis. Oh, finalmente mi obbedisce. <laughs> eh, era andato tutto in tilt, probabilmente perché ho fatto entrare nel frattempo qualcuno. I admitted somebody in and probably it uh, went crashed. Um, the scientific method is a step-by-step, step-by-step way. Passo passo. Uh, passo, passo. passo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, way to solve problems, solve problems, solve. risolvere problemi, and answer questions logically. Logically. Thanks to the scientific method, many important discoveries have been made about our world. Thanks to, grazie a, thanks to the scientific method, many important discoveries have been made about our world. Per chi usa questo have been made? Sono state fatte, è una cosa iniziata nel passato, è durata per un po' di tempo e sta ancora durando, ancora adesso fanno scoperte, ok? Ok, quindi have been made about our world. But many unanswered questions remain. Would you like to help answer them? You can. Just remember to be scientific. Ask a question, make observations, form a hypothesis, design an experiment and test that hypothesis, analyze your data, and draw a conclusion. Okay. So, did you like it? Yes. yes. Okay, so do you want to talk about it a little bit? Um, yes, okay, so this... Uh, a STEM project is very use, very nice, very, scusate, volevo, mi parva che stesse ricominciando. Okay, I thought it was starting all over again, but it is unlikely. Um, so this uh, project is very, very nice, from Carla Gobetti to everyone. Ah, okay. She added her name, perfect. Yes. Uh, right. Um, so, uh, and it gives a lot of useful material you can use uh, with your pupils as well in your classes if you want to. Like this uh, very easy video, um, which can also, be, it, there is also the Italian version, which I'm not going to show you. Uh, but, uh, um, but you can also use it in English if you're not kindergarten uh, teachers, but, but maybe primary school teachers. You can use it in English and combine the teaching of English with the teaching 
of science uh, and uh, uh, you know this kind of things uh, which is very you know very nice for the children because uh, they learn two things at the same time and because language is a um, a way to do things. So, I mean, it's nice not simply to learn the language, but to learn to use it to do something. Yes. Anyway, so um, I would like you, no problems, so Monica, no problems at all, welcome. I would like you to tell me what you think about using videos with your pupils. What you think about uh, um, this specific vi video we have seen, and maybe, I don't know, if you're a science teacher, um, a summary, sum up a little bit, so that to use the words we have just learned. Okay, so who wants to start? <laughs> no volunteers, Mariangela? <laughs> no. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. Okay, who volunteers? Who volunteers? I'll write it down for you. A question. Who? A question. Only yes. about uh, uh, the, this uh, type of uh, video or in general? Because I have... Um, Videos in general? Uh, whatever you want to, actually. I want you to talk, basically. Okay, okay, okay yes. <laughs> I use uh, this, um, the, um, the video, the uh, rhyme, about the uh, rhyme, English rhymes. Uh, with my doctor, and uh, I discovered um, in the um, internet uh, some interesting, interesting uh, uh, vid uh, video and uh, when, where uh, uh, there is a song, in the, an English song with an uh, amazing um, a video. And uh, I, I think that it is a, a good way to learn English, like you have Yes. Like, let's say, like, no, like uh, you said. Okay. You said. You said. said. Yes. Uh, yes. Allora, two things. Mm -hmm. Interesting is an interesting word. <laughs> it can be pronounced interesting or interesting. Both pronunciation are acceptable because you were, you know, puzzled whether to use one or the other. They're both acceptable. Interesting or interesting. Okay. It's okay. Like uh, kilometers, uh, kilometers uh, or kilometers. Kilometer. Basically, English people uh, tend to be traditionalist. So meter, mm. kilometers, Kilometer. kilometers. That's mm. British English. It's okay. also written like that. American mm. English tend to consider the word one word and so they pronounce it as if it were one long word, kilometers. And they also write it like this. Instead of uh, R-E-S, E-R-S. That's often the uh, center and center. The difference between British English and American English. So like kilometers and kilometers, both pronunciation are acceptable. Also mm -hmm. interesting and interesting, both good. So don't worry, because we're a little bit puzzled whether to say interesting or interesting, both are good. And said, said, uh, said, it's just like said, same pronunciation. Mm -hmm. The I forget it as if it doesn't exist. <laughs> Dimenticatevi della I, come se non ci fosse, said. So you rightly said, that to giustamente hai detto, you rightly mm -hmm. said that, blah, 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 blah. Um, si, volunteers, avevo sbagliato a scriverlo, si scrive con la U, volunteers. È che scrivendo mentre parlo a volte faccio cavolate. Uh, quindi, who volunteers, chi si offre volontario? <laughs> who volunteers? Um, so, do you know the name of the site where you find those beautiful English rhymes? Yeah, yeah. I read uh, English rhyme, rhymes and I, yes, and, and uh, it appears, no, it, it no. appears. Okay, by writing English rhymes, it appears. Yes. Okay. And okay. then I, ch I choose uh, one of the, of, of course, of yes. yes. Right. 
Perfect. Yes. So English rhymes are very much loved by uh, British people, American people, American uh, children, British children, and also by Italian ones. It's a good way to learn English in a very funny way. And so I discovered that uh, McDonald is the, the name of uh, old McDonald's. Old McDonald's had a farm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yes. So yes. Did you know? McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's is actually a very common name in, uh, ah. in British and in American English. <laughs> McDonald's, yes. Um, but yeah, old McDonald had a farm. A farm. Nella vecchia fattoria. <laughs> Paul McDonald's had a farm. That's very funny, but that's very difficult to, to sing because it's very quick. Quick, yes. È difficile okay. cantare perché yes. molto veloce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, yes, a few thoughts about the using of the videos, this specific video, whatever you want to. I want you to talk, basically. Okay, let's go in the, uh, what is it, uh, um, gallery order. So Giuseppe, story, sorry, you are the first. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like the video? I like this video, but I, capito come si dice. Cosa? Understand. I understand little. Oh, you didn't understand much. You didn't understand much. Non hai capito molto. I didn't understand <coughs> much. Non ci ho capito molto. Why was it? Uh, oh, uh, is uh, uh, very run. Very fast. Oh. It was very fast. Okay. Do you want to watch it again at a slower pace? Do you want? Yes, I do. To watch it again at a slower yes. pace uh, a una velocità più lenta uh, yes yes i do okay so yeah. let's go back to share do you agree do you all agree are you okay with that yes right yeah. okay no. dimmi carla allora excuse me uh, i'm arrived uh, late and I, I don't... You missed it. You missed it, so it's also good for Carla, who missed it, so she can watch it uh, too. Yes, so let's watch it again. And uh, 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 what uh, exercise uh, uh, after the video? Just, I just want you to talk a little bit. So the idea was, what did you think about the video? What did you, this okay. video, this particular video? Uh, what do you think video. about the idea of using videos in your classrooms? Okay, okay, okay. Whatever you want okay. to, basically. <laughs> whatever, whatever. No, perché non mi sta scrivendo? Cosa è successo? Whatever you want to basically quello che volete fondamentalmente l'importante è parlare e usare la lingua perché main, while you're speaking while you're speaking don't write yes. speaking scusate speaking while you're speaking I can see uh, your difficulties and I can see, you know, I can correct you, this kind of things. Ah, ora si vede. Perché non si vedeva? Ok. E non, non si vedeva quello che scriveva, ma forse era il mio video, adesso appare, grazie. No, no, infatti mi sono resa conto anch'io di come eh. sta scrivendo. Ok, okay. Right. so let's watch uh, the video again. Uh, let's watch it again. Maria Pietro, ah. sorry. For me, it's perfect too. Okay, it's good for you too. Was it this yeah. one? I'm not sure it was this one. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, it wasn't this one. <laughs> 
It was this one. Okay, so okay. do you want? Hi, hi. Hi. Can you write your name Sorry. in the chat, please? Name and surname in the chat, please. Okay. Thank you. Because you're not Peter, I suppose. Ah, okay. <laughs> He's By my the way, am I still Stefano Cobello? <laughs> <laughs> E io sono ancora Stefano Cobello, vediamo. Yes. yes. Ecco appunto, perché entro col, entro col coso di, di Stefano. Scusate che mi... Eh, appunto. Sorry. Via, via. Sorry. Ok. Um, so, yes. Do you want me to slow it down? Volete che lo rallenti? No. Yeah. No. no. Yes. Yes. yes or no? Just a little bit, maybe. Do you remember how to slow it down? Vi ricordate come si fa a rallentarlo? Si va sul setting wheel, sulla rotellina del settings. Playback speed from normal to maybe 0 0.75. Do you want the um, subtitles on? These are off now. There's no red line underneath. If you want them on, you click here, and here they are, red line subtitles. Okay. So let's watch it at a slower pace. Guardiamolo più lentamente con i sottotitoli, okay? Yes. Let's go. Have you ever had a question about the world? Like what plants need to grow? Or how to blow bigger bubbles? There is a way to find the answer to these and other questions that is used by scientists. It is called the scientific method. If you use it, you can be a scientist too. The scientific method is a way to ask and answer scientific questions by making observations and doing experiments. There are six simple steps to follow. First, ask a question or identify the problem you would like to solve. Second, make observations and do research about your topic. Observation means to study carefully. Once you have observed and researched your problem, you are ready for step three. Form a hypothesis. A hypothesis is an educated guess about how something works. In order to be useful, a hypothesis needs to be testable. This means that you can actually test it and see whether it is true or not. After you have your hypothesis, move on to step four. Design an experiment and test your hypothesis. When designing an experiment, you must be sure to only test one thing at once. You can do this by making sure to only change one thing or variable in each experiment. Everything else must remain the same. Once you have completed your experiment, analyze your data. To do this, you will look at the results of your experiment and try to figure out what it means. Finally, using your data, you can draw a conclusion. If your conclusion did not support or agree with your hypothesis, that's okay. It doesn't mean it was a bad experiment. Using the information from your first experiment, you may need to form a new hypothesis 
and create a new experiment to test it. Even if your conclusion does support your hypothesis, you may have a new question you'd like to test and can begin the scientific process all over again. The scientific method is a step-by-step -step way to solve problems and answer questions logically. Thanks to the scientific method, many important discoveries have been made about our world, but many unanswered questions remain. Would you like to help answer them? You can! Just remember to be scientific. Ask a question, make observations, form a hypothesis, design an experiment and test that hypothesis, analyze your data, and draw a conclusion. Hey. What's up, better? I'm suspect of it. Yes, sir. Okay, so who wants to tell, to tell us something about it? What did he say? Don't be shy. <laughs> it's the scientific method uh, for the teaching uh, at school. It's yes. uh, very interesting and important because uh, the children uh, um, uh, to uh, need to learn, need, need to, learn. to learn, uh, to, to learn, uh, and uh, mm, not memory, not uh, only memory, but uh, uh, with the experience, uh, uh, learn, uh, and uh, mm, come si diventano competenti. <laughs> no, yes. Be, uh, yes, and uh, they become good at. Yes. Through, through experience. Yes. Yes. It's they uh, need to the, learn. Yeah. For the adult, uh, is uh, the same. Mm -hmm. uh, if um, it's uh, important to start from uh, 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 from the experience, uh, personal experience. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, from the general for uh, to go to the um, to advance uh, to advance uh, logically yes uh, exactly so um okay to learn by heart imparare memoria learn by heart loro dicono learn by heart so children need to learn not by heart but through experience, experimental learning. They, they need an experimental approach, experimental approach. Um, an experimental approach, una, una, un un approccio sperimentale. Un approccio, ah, grazie, un approccio sperimentale. Un experimental approach. They need to try and do something to really learn yes. something. Um, and the adults too, that's why I want you to speak. <laughs> Because the more you speak, the better you become. And the more you learn, the more you speak, And the more you learn. Più parlate e più imparate. If you stay silent and quiet and still, you won't learn very much. So if you stay quiet and silent and still, you won't learn much. Se restate tranquilli e silenziosi e buoni, non imparerete molto. You need to speak to learn speaking. That's very easy. So don't worry for the mistakes, no problems. 
Okay, so yes. Um, oh, logical, logically with a G. That was Not misspelled, uh, spelled wrong. Not lo logically, but logically. 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 Allora, logically. Okay, adesso la scrivo. Ah, l'avevo scritto anche prima, vabbè. Um, allora, what does this mean? Per fare la domanda ci vuole il do, chiaramente. What the, in, in, nella terza persona diventa das. What does this mean? Cosa significa ciò? Uh, what? Che cosa? <ride> The experimental yeah. learning e li, le, imparare attraverso l'esperienza, provare. Provare, imparare, mh, facci, mh, provando di oh, prima persona. Yes. Ok? Era, era quello che volevate chiedere? Monica, sì. eh, no, Piera. Sì, Monica, che cos'è che, eh, che, cos che volevi sapere? What does this mean? Ah, what means still? Still means fermo, immobile, eh, buono, zitto e buono. <ride> Ah. Still vuol dire proprio fermo, immobile. Okay. Eh, Infatti, scusa. still water, still water è... L'acqua naturale. È anche l'acqua mm. naturale. O anche l'acqua ferma, per esempio, che ne so, still water. Invece l'acqua gassata? Sparkling, sparkling water o gas water. O gas, yes. sparkling water. Ok. Posso che... Eh, sì? Il significa anche ancora, o sbaglio? Vuol dire anche ancora. Come ancora. Ok, grazie. È, lo stella, è scritto uguale. Uguale, sì. Ok. Uh, sì, anche qui vedete quello che... Non so se l'avevo detto voi la volta scorsa. Eh, quando, who, what, queste WH words are subjects, sono soggetti, allora non serve fare la domanda perché dovrebbero mettere il do davanti o il das davanti e loro non vogliono niente davanti di loro ok quindi what uh, still means uh, what does still mean oppure uh, what means uh, qualcosa who are you ma who came chi sei tu ma chi è venuto quando c'è un tu uh, chi sei tu allora Who are you? Qui il soggetto è you e quindi si fa la domanda con l'inversione. In questo caso con l'inversione perché ci dovrebbe essere. Ma per esempio, who came? Qui il Did soggetto you? è who yeah. e quindi non si fa la domanda, non si dice did who che come. Who came? Ok? E lo stesso con what. Cos'era eh, what qui? What means? Uh, no, what does mean, uh, what does still mean, oppure what means still, ok, va bene, mm. sì. Allora, posso un attimo intervenire sure. sul metodo scientifico? This method for me is important because the children, come si dice dare per scontato, take? Give it for granted or take it for granted, take it for granted um, a solution mm. about think oh yes okay. they accept everything but through me scientific method they learn step by step and it's uh, very important uh, for they is um, 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 I, I, um, uh, I do this experience with my children at uh, school and uh, um, I, I um, saw them very, um, in very interesting, uh, anche adesso mi sfugge meravigliati. Very much involved. Very. Involved. Sì, ma anche sbalorditi del, del ah, step by step. Amazed. Amazed. 
Okay. Involved vuol dire coinvolti, amazed vuol dire wow, sbalorditi. Sbalorditi. Ok. Thank you. No problems. It's important for them, not for they. It's important And for them, them uh, you know, to make experiments uh, because uh, they are involving And uh, they are, uh, uh, the experiments are more involving, gli esperimenti sono più coinvolgenti, yeah. and uh, uh, the children are amazed by the results and will remember the results much easier. E ricorderanno i risultati più facilmente. And, uh, and also stop giving everything for granted, but start to reason about things. They will stop giving everything for granted. Smettono di dar tutto per scontato, di semplicemente imparare così, and start thinking about things. E cominciano a pensare sulle cose. Uh, they start, uh, you know, uh, questioning uh, and uh, wondering They start questioning and questioning things and wondering. Iniziano a far domande sulle cose e a, e a chiedersi. To wonder vuol dire chiedersi. I wonder why. Mi chiedo perché. Ok? And wondering about things. Questioning things and wondering about things. About things. Yes. It's very true. It's, uh, I co totally agree with you. Thank you, Anna. Very good contribution. Anybody else wants to say something? Uh, scientific. Posso parlare? Yes, Marina, please. Okay. Yes, please do. Um, scientific method. Uh, describe um, six, the six steps to uh, gain a true result um, in uh, f when you make an experiment you can gain a, a true result um, a sure result of uh, uh, um, regarding a question a, a question okay <laughs> mm. Uh, when you uh, make all uh, the experiment and you um, uh, tell uh, questions about it, uh, you can um, have a scientific result, not uh, only a, a chat. A deduction <laughs> or uh, yes, or a, mm -hmm. but a scientific result. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Uh, allora, the scientific method, perché è un metodo ben preciso, quindi ci vuole l'articolo. Eh, okay. okay. The scientific method describes, perché terza persona ci vuole l'S, describes, bla bla bla. Uh, yes, exactly, exactly. It's very true. It's very true, è verissimo. Very, very true. Thank you, Marina. Any other contribution? May I pa Paola, please. I'm a supporting teacher and uh, for me the videos are, are useful to improve uh, uh, learning uh, in different subjects. And I used to show uh, many videos uh, at school to my pupils. Not anymore? Not anymore, non più. Till now. <laughs> Come? Till now. I allora, perché hai detto I used to? I used to, di solito, è the past. facevo, è per il passato, è una cosa che usavi fare nel passato. Allora, um, I show. I, normally, I show. I usually show. Ah, I usually, ah, ok, 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 sorry. I usually, ah sì sì, ok, I usually show many videos. Many videos. Yeah. Um, because my, my, pupil, uh, my pupils are um, problematic. Um, uh, yes, uh, dif yeah, difficult, let's say difficult. And so I like very much, um, above all, oh, soprattutto, 
Uh, bubble, va benissimo, e bubble. Uh, for uh, foreign languages, foreign languages, English and Spanish. Uh, Are yeah. you videos? Yes, videos are also very important in studying languages because they teach you the correct pronunciation of the words. So you learn not only the word, but also the correct pronunciation attached to it. Qui, qui si impara non solo la parola, ma anche proprio la, la pronuncia e la, la scrittura se avete i sottotitoli giusta, capito? Yes. Because involved, more involved. Uh, for the music, imagine, uh, images and... Uh, yes, and the images and the music help them to understand better, yes, mm -hmm. yeah, yes. Moreover, today's children are used to these uh, visual and, uh, you know, acoustic things uh, like videos and uh, uh, video games, uh, this kind of things, uh, and uh, they they are developing the capability of learning more through these things than by simply listening to the teacher. Maria Pia, I have a question for you. Sure. What do you think about Duolingo? Uh, uh, Duolingo can be very useful. Duolingo. I love very much Duolingo. Yes, it's very useful uh, because it teaches you uh, many, many words. And uh, it's also, yes, graduated, so it's not, uh, yeah, it's a good way, it's a good way. Five, ten minutes when you have time during the day, maybe you're waiting for the bus, don't know what to do, do a couple of things, uh, or in bed before sleeping, before getting asleep, you do a couple of uh, lessons, and, you know, they all add up. Uh, they add up. And you realize after a while that you have learned a number of words. So yes, it's a very good app. È una bella app, application, uh, Duolingo, perché mh, non hai bisogno di fare un'ora, due ore, cinque minuti al giorno. Quando hai voglia, quando hai tempo, during the day, durante il giorno, maybe you are waiting for the bus, sei là che aspetti l'autobus, ti tocca aspettare dieci minuti, you do five minutes of Duolingo, it's funny. And okay. in the meantime, you learn maybe one word, the two words, but one word today, another word tomorrow, uh -huh. another word. And by the end of the month, you have learned 40, 50, 60 words. And you can uh, uh, listen also. And you can listen at the pronunciation. And writing. <laughs> yes, exactly. You're asked to write the word correctly and to, I don't know whether you asked to pronounce it, no, yes. not to, to pronounce it as well. Okay. Uh, but yes, it's a good, it's a good way. Mm -hmm. Duolingo si chiama, se volete vi mando l'invito ad entrare, oppure puoi farlo te, Paola, you can uh, uh, put on the WhatsApp group the invitation to enter Duolingo. Or simply dial Duolingo, semplicemente battete Duolingo, vi viene fuori. And it's a funny way. And then they remind you, uh, they give you something like gems or, I don't know, precious uh, stones every time you finish a lesson. And then they remind you, today you are losing, I don't know, 10 gems because you didn't do any work. So practice now. It's funny. It's funny. Sì, vi, vi, vi mandano gli, gli, gli avvisi. Eh, oggi non hai fatto niente, guarda che perdi 10 gemme. Allora uno dice, ma sì dai, facciamo questi 5 minuti. E però 5 minuti al giorno alla fine, insomma, qualcosa si fa. Lo faccio yes. anche ai bambini, finché possono. Riesco. Anche i bambini, Beh. sì, è, è divertente anche per loro, se sanno leggere e scrivere, sì. sì, sì. Eh, yeah. Do you see the adverse... Come si dice pubblicità? Advertising. Ad, ad, ad va bene. Sarebbe ad. advertising. Advertising, the CD, the uh, English course uh, in TV. Uh, the man um, speak. Uh, se tu dici my name is... Uh, non, non sai niente di inglese. <laughs> Hai visto la pubblicità di... Lone, Lone. 
I never I... watch TV. Oh. Honestly, I almost never. I okay. But, but I never I... watched TV, but in this period, I almost never because in this period, I sometimes watch TV. But I almost never watch TV. Io non guardo. Di solito non la guardavo mai, in questo periodo ogni tanto la guardo, ma quasi mai, non guardo quasi mai la tv. C'è una pubblicità che dice che tu sei my name is... Tu dici my name is, non sai parlare in inglese. Eh, perché? Se non, eh, non lo so, chiedo a te, guai. Eh, non lo so, non ho, non ho visto quella pubblicità. Una pubblicità nuova per un corso di inglese, l'ho vista. Eh, is, Why eh, not? Is a loan, uh, is an English teacher and uh, he mm, uh, usually teach uh, Peter Sloan yeah. yeah. uh, he Lohan. usually teach, uh, te teaches English in uh, a very funny way yes. he brought a lot of books and uh, he is very funny yes. where did you find him? on the, on the internet? on YouTube? Yeah. Oh, no uh, I don't think uh, so uh, but, in, um, do you, um, in cartoleria è un CD, un DVD. Is it a DVD? DVD, yeah. Okay. It's an English course, of the course. There are um, a lot of uh, yes. DVD yes. that you can buy at uh, mm. YouTube. It sounds good to me. My name is, what's wrong? My name's Maria Pia. My name is Maria Pia. Hi. I'm Maria. I'm, okay. I'm Maria Pia, yes. Everything yes. is okay, but it's not wrong to say my name is Maria Pia. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> it was just a way to, you know, hook you up, but to hook you, hook <laughs> sarebbe il gancho, hook you, agganciarti per dire come, <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, make you curious about something. Maria Pia, you have a YouTube channel. Is it on a YouTube channel? No, no YouTube channel. I'm, uh, mi sono iscritto. Ah, so a questo English okay. course? No, nel tuo corso, di, nel YouTube channel, quello tuo. Ah, sì, ma non è un vero corso mio. No. <laughs> allora. I, I... <laughs> yes, yes, you're very welcome, no problems. But you know what? When I teach my um, students, maybe grown-ups, maybe children, I don't know, uh, it depends. They often ask me to make videos on yeah. what, I, what I tell them. And I started to make videos and put them on uh, my drive. But then there were so many videos that there wasn't enough room in my drive. So I didn't know what to do with them because I didn't want to delete them because, I mean, it was job. So I said, let's put it on a YouTube channel. So I opened a YouTube channel and put some videos on them. But can you see them? Because some of them are public, but most of them are unlisted. And so you need the uh, invitation to watch them. I look your uh, link for the uh, lesson, the next lesson. Maybe he's out here. Okay, let's go and have a look. <laughs> Are you a maker? Um, yes. Uh, so, how can I go there? Let me see. Let's get out of here. How can I get out of here? I want to get out of here. Okay, the ask button doesn't work. Okay, it's working now. Good. So if I go on YouTube and search my channel, maybe here, my your videos, you can find all my videos. Most of them are also recordings of the lessons because there were so many. I had no room enough in my Google Drive, in my computer. So I decided to put it on a YouTube channel. Uh, but these are all uh, um, unlisted, so you cannot watch them unless you have the, um, the link. 
See, they are unlisted, 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 unlisted. And you know why? Because uh, these are recordings of lessons. So there are people in them and I don't want to make them public because I have no uh, permission to make them public. And some of them are based on the books we use. And so there's a copyright. And so I don't want to, um, you know, to, um, to violate the copyright law. So I made them unlisted. Some of them are public. Yes, no problems. For example, I don't know. For example, okay, this is a public one. See, it's uh, the explanation of uh, uh, how, how, ma, quanto, molto, tanto, quanto. Some of them are public and you can watch them freely. Alcune sono pu eh, pubbliche, quindi potete guardare. Death Death Man, Death Man. Yeah. Esatto, queste sono pubbliche, potete guardarle tranquillamente. Um, ma alcune invece sono unlisted, possono guardare solo quelli che hanno il link, perché o sono registrazioni di lezioni e quindi compaiono delle persone, quindi non voglio ovviamente or they are based, o sono basate sui libri che usiamo. They are based on the books we use. And there's a copyright, it's own copyright. And so I cannot use materials taken from books. Non posso usare i materiali presi dai libri perché c'è un copyright. Ma io lo faccio lo stesso perché sono i libri che usiamo in classe e quindi loro si trovano meglio. Uh, but they are unlisted. E quindi tu non, non li puoi vedere se non hai il link. Giusto? Uh, yes. Però sì, puoi vedere quelli public. You can see the public ones. Yes, you can see the public ones. No problems. If you want to, I can send you a, maybe a list. Hi, Stefano. Welcome. I can send you a list of all the videos and with all the links. And you can uh, go inside and uh, and see them. Yes, if you want Thank to. You. Because some of them, uh, you, you can't see some of them unless you have the link. You can't see, you can't see some of them unless, I mean, okay, you have the link. The relevant link, il link um, corrispondente che corrisponde a quel video. Some of them are unlisted, alcuni di loro sono appunto unlisted, non uh, in elenco perché non sono visibili, perché mm -hmm. c'è un copyright, io uso i libri lo stesso, ma non si potrebbe. E quindi li uso solo per i miei alunni. But yeah, but if you want to, I can send you the links, no problems. Do you find them useful? Do you find them useful? Li, li trovi utili? Yes, I do. <laughs> they are more useful if they are in a program, you know, if they are part of a program. There's, you know, a, a logic behind them. Sono più utili se fanno parte ovviamente del programma perché c'è una logica dietro eh, piuttosto che guardarli così out of the blue. <laughs> out of the blue vuol dire di punto in bianco. Out of the blue. Out of the blue è un modo per dire così dal niente, di punto in bianco, dal... Out of the blue. Excuse me. Out of the blue. Eh, non lo so perché. Perché noi diciamo di punto in bianco, boh? E loro dicono out of the blue. Out of the blue vuol dire appunto così, dal niente. <laughs> ok. Sorry. Can I speak about the vi video? Yes, please do. Just I'm... a second. Birba, piantala, ah. vai fuori, vai. <laughs> Il cane parla italiano. Internal affairs with Birba. I've got a dog and it probably needs to go out so it kept scrapping me and scratching me so okay sorry Let's I'm Julia. what's your name 
I'm Giulia. Good oh, morning. Giulia, you managed to get in. <laughs> Finally, well done. Yes. I, I have uh, arrived uh, today to the of class. Uh, of you English. subscribed today. Yes. You subscribed. Okay, you go on. Subscribe today. Can I speak? Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> sure. And I think about uh, video. Mm -hmm. It's uh, interesting because uh, we can uh, use uh, this video for uh, the interdisciplinary project. Exactly. Uh, for the uh, science and uh, English, English uh, at the same time. Yes, and uh, the, there are many, many words, uh, simple words. Can yes, I... simple, uh, easy words, or easy. more than simple, easy words, mm -hmm. or similar to Italian ones, so similar to okay. Italian words. Similar to Italian words. Yes, because and in this video, um, 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 uh, the, the, there is the technical uh, language. Scientific words. Uh, yes. And scientific words come from either Greek or Italian, Latin, basically. Latin, yes. Greek and Latin. And we have a very similar words. Yes scientific words okay uh, so thank you for your contribution julia who else wants to contribute to the discussion come on don't be shy Hi. very Can well I... done mariangela um well i i don't teach uh, math or science uh, so i i use the video um, in this moment uh, especially because uh, um, I make the video for my pupils and uh, um, for explaining them uh, some uh, conce concepts um, and, and I, I use to send uh, them uh, some videos uh, of arts. Uh, because um, they they can follow the the video the videos for making an art uh, artwork um, and work. Yeah. Ah, you you make explanation videos on how to draw something. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. I thought you showed them, uh, for example, pictures by famous, uh, I yes. don't know, painters and yes, uh, technical make... paint, painting or or drawing or um, origami. Or... Oh, fantastic! <laughs> yes. Fantastic. Yes, so you make your own videos. Ecco, mi ho scritto sbagliato videos. You make your own videos. Fai i tuoi propri, cioè li fai proprio tu i video. You make um, your own videos. Some, uh, I, I make some of them and some I download to the, From the, the YouTube. No. Okay. from youtube yes you find them on the internet you find them on the internet and download them from youtube okay mm -hmm. very good <laughs> very nice anybody else monica lunardi cecilia si, uh, chi io. Eh, vai. Vai. Vai, cecilia. Uh, i teach science and i use often the scientific I often method. Use. Ah, often I use. often use. Often, often va tra, eh, appena prima del verbo principale. Ok. I often tranne, use... Tranne se c'è il verbo essere. Se c'è il verbo essere, no, va dopo. Ok. I am often late, per esempio. Eh, però se, se no, con tutti gli altri verbi, va appena prima del verbo principale. Per esempio, okay. eh, I'm uh, often... Uh, 
I'm always waiting for you. Ci sono sempre che ti aspetto. I'm always waiting for you. Sono sempre qua ad aspettarti. I'm always waiting. Quindi prima del verbo principale, in questo caso, wait. I'm always waiting for you. Uh, I have always uh, thought about you. Ok. okay. Um, quindi, I often use the scientific method. For me, the scientific method is most important for the children because uh, they can use the, è giusto dire le sue fasi, the is steps. Their, their, they, ah, their steps. Their own, uh, yes, steps. Steps yes. to analyze many phenomena. L'inglese è molto tradizionalista. Quando okay. prende le parole latine, prende anche il loro plurale, quindi phenomenon diventa fenomena. Ok. Datum, data. Ok. Fenomena. And made, um, asking uh, the questions, um, and made many discoveries. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's very true. So, phenomenon, phenomena. Curriculum, curricula. Okay. Datum, data. Mantengono il uh, okay. junior, juniores. Okay. Mantengono il plurale latino. latino quindi fenomena. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sì, okay. their own steps. I loro propri uh, passaggi, diciamo. Sì, mm -hmm. quindi, uh, to, quindi to analyze many phenomena. Asking the questions, cioè ponendosi delle domande, asking facendosi delle domande. Asking the questions. I'm wondering about... Asking questions vuol dire fare domande oh, a qualcuno. Facendosi domande. Wondering, invece chiedendosi a se okay. stessi. Wondering why and what and... Uh, so. Wondering questions, ok. And made me... Non serve dire questions quando usi wondering. Okay. Asking ah. questions and wondering. Ok, and wondering. And made many discoveries. And make many discoveries. Okay. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Allora, molti usano uh, most al posto di very. It's very eh. important. Non most important. It's very important. Ok. It's very important. Very important. Ok. okay. Good, Cecilia. That's Sorry. definitely a very Sorry. good contribution. Thank you very much indeed. Any other contribution? Who volunteers? Who wants to speak? Francesca Miele, Marina Mercati, Valeria Di... No, Valeria Giovanna ha qualcosa ha detto. Uh, vediamo, chi è che non ha detto niente? Uh, Assunta non ha detto niente. Alessandro manco si vede. Yuhu! <laughs> There you are. Uh, ok, somebody... Allora anche quelli che hanno già detto, dai, basta che qualcuno parli. <laughs> Hi. Can, I, can I speak? Valeria? Yeah? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> ok, I taught the um, scientific method at uh, the beginning of the year. I think that uh, the language in this video is not... Uh, um, easy for a third class of the primary school it's a little bit language difficult. did you say yeah yeah it's a little bit difficult to understand for uh, the pupils but if you um, make it slower and uh, you translate the step by step maybe can understand something they can understand something. they can understand You know what? First of all, never underestimate okay. children <laughs> because uh, they can understand much more than you think. <laughs> non no, mai, no. mai sottostimare i bambini perché pe si pensa che non capiscono, ma in realtà capiscono molto di più di quello che noi pensiamo. Ma a parte questo, um, it doesn't really matter if they understand everything because... Uh, um, what matters, in my opinion, is what matters, di nuovo un esempio di what come soggetto, what matters in my opinion is that uh, they are, they become curious, 
they develop an interest. They start, you know, uh, to discover that there's something else. They become curious. They develop an interest. They uh, start thing, uh, discovering there's uh, a different way of uh, seeing things. And, um, and this opens up their minds uh, all the same. This opens up their minds all the same, even if they don't understand everything. E questo comunque gli apre la mente, anche se non capiscono tutto, però capiscono che c'è un altro modo di fare le cose, che ci si può fare delle domande, che il tutto contribuisce, capito? Ok, so, I thought it's in Italian for science, but uh, I was wondering to show um, the video in English, maybe is uh, a little bit difficult for them. And uh, difficult for them. Yeah, I think for a third class of primary school, eight years old. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know because my daughter at eight year old was <laughs> better than me in English, but <laughs> probably yes, probably they know um, two little words yet. But nevertheless, uh, there's the, there are the images and uh, there are the, I don't know. The yeah. support teacher. <laughs> yes. Uh, you're a supporting teacher. So you've got no, 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 I, I'm not a support teacher. Uh, they as uh, no, they have the support of ah, the teacher. The support of the yes, we, of course, with the support of the teacher, of course. If you show a video like this to an eight-year-old child, he would go away after 30 seconds. Yeah. But <laughs> together with the other children, motivated, saying, look, we're doing an experiment, an ex a scientific experiment. Do you know what a scientific experiment is? Let's watch this video. So if you motivate them, and together with the others, and with the teacher, of course, uh, with an eight-year-old child, you always need the support of the teacher, of course. Yeah. Uh, but yes, so your opinion is uh, these kind of videos are too difficult for eight-year-old children. Maybe 10, 11-year-old yeah. yeah. children. Yeah. Okay, what are your opinions? Anybody else? What do you think, Francesca Miele? Do you agree with Valeria or do you think they're useful tools? Oh... <laughs> Um, my opinion is that uh, um, it's, uh, it's very important uh, the, the children you gave uh, um, uh, almost uh, the possibility, uh, okay, this is a new area and I grow up my uh, discovering and uh, um, uh, I, I give you uh, curious, curiosity. curiosity. Uh, to transmit, yes. transmit. Yes, to transmit, yes. <laughs> curiosity. Because the, the, the children, uh, they went uh, uh, often um, uh, boring. And uh, yes. they, they need always uh, something that you can uh, uh, give the um, uh, uh, spring up their attention. <laughs> yes, you constantly have to keep up their attention because uh, they get bored easily. Si annoiano facilmente. They get bored easily. You have to keep up their attention. Yes. Constantly. Eh, Maria yes. Pia, 
Keep up vuol dire catturare la loro attenzione. Keep up. Mantenere, più mantenere. Ah, mantenere. Okay. mantenere. Sì, keep up. Keep up. Mantenere. Mm -hmm. Mantenere la loro attenzione. Um, sì, you have to make it look like a game. Make it look like a game. Uh, make it look like a game to, to them. Farlo apparire come un gioco per loro, perché loro le cose mm, si rompono le scatole. Anch'io. <ride> ok, yes. So, who else? Alessandra, tell us something. Uh... Um, I don't teach, uh, no, I not teach uh, English or science, but I use the scientific method in um, primary school for, um, in gram grammar, grammatica. Yes, uh, grammar, for grammar. How do yes. you use the scientific method in grammar? Uh, similar, not. <laughs> yes, observation. Uh, yes, um, I write, um, a verb or so an adjective and uh, we yes. found uh, the il significato insomma. meaning the meaning, meaning uh, 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 so. <laughs> yes you look for the meaning of the words uh, fa allora, found when, it, uh, when it uh, use uh, when to use it when, when it's to use used, it si. when it's used and so on yes, exactly um, allora, found è, uh, può essere un verbo fondare però in questo caso tu lo volevi usare trovare, come trovare. trovare. E found è il passato di find ah. Find, find è il presente, to find, found, found. Ok, quindi find è il presente, e found è il passato. Eh, meaning vuol dire il significato. Eh, so you look for the meaning of the words. Cerchi, look for vuol dire cercare. Look yes. for vuol dire cercare. You look for the meaning of the words. Cerchi, cercate il significato. Don't worry, Valeria. Bye bye. See you next time. Is it on Friday? Yes, it's on Friday. Bye bye. See you. What time is it, by the way? Mm -hmm. um, oh, we're out of time, but it doesn't matter. Um, and finally, we time. write the regular, the regular. The rule, the rule. The rule. And then you write uh, the rule. You, uh, yes, deduce the rule. You discover the rule by yourself. Find the see the rule and write the rule uh, all together. Write it on the rule. So it's almost a scientific me method. Observation, analysis, wondering, asking questions, um, hypotheses and uh, testing confirmation does it work like that yes so results it's a scientific method in grammar yes. very well done <laughs> <laughs> okay you've got a scientific mind hai una mente scientifica anche se insegni italiano <laughs> okay very well so who hasn't talked today chi è che non ha ancora parlato oggi Monica Lunardi, hai detto qualcosa? No, don't you want to say something? Um, this video is very interesting. Uh, I could show to my pupils uh, next week. I think uh, the scientific method is very important in the primary school uh, because it... Uh, can applicato be applied be applied, applied essere applic applicato uh, to apply in... sarebbe applicare però potrebbe essere applicato could be applied um, to lo dire in varie esperienze ah ok in many uh, ways in molti modi in... 
in many, many ways. Sarebbe experience is esperienza, però non so come. Uh, in many ways. Yes, uh, I could show it to my pupils. Not I could show. Yes, if you have to go, you go. Don't worry, Paola Veronica. If you have to go, don't worry, because we're out of time. I realize it. But I wanted all of you to say something. So, but you have, if you have to go, don't worry, bye bye. Se dovete andare, non vi preoccupate. Ciao, ciao, perché siamo fuori tempo. Però volevo che tutti dicessero qualcosina, quindi questi cinque minuti in più. Però se dovete andare, andate, non c'è problema. Uh, yes, you could show it to your pupils. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, no problem. No problem. <laughs> Very good. Who else hasn't Happy spoken? Chi altro? I, I, I don't speak today. You uh, haven't spoken today. You uh, haven't. I you, haven't spoken today. Okay. okay, so you're very welcome to tell us your idea, your opinion. <laughs> um, uh, sorry for my delay um, because uh, I uh, had a lot of problem uh, today with my computer. Yes, don't worry. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I don't teach science. Uh, but I think this video is very interesting uh, for pupils uh, because uh, uh, they uh, can know the experimental approach. Mm. Uh, but I, <laughs> uh, non, um, I don't uh, use this method. What method do you use? Um, <laughs> um, what do you teach? I, sorry, Italian. 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 Are you creative, <laughs> fantasy? Yes. Or yes. Like yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I I smile uh, very very much with my pupils, and uh, I. Uh, um, make up stories with them. Do you make up stories with them? Inventate delle storie? Yes, yes. You make up stories. You, it's a different way of, uh, you know, interacting, of course. But of course, you, you teach Italian, not science <laughs> or math. <laughs> yes. Okay. Perfect. Uh, yes. Did you say no, no, you do not pronounce the K? Eh, non mi, eh, mi pare che tu abbia detto che no, la K non si pronuncia, no, 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 no. 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 Yes. ok, okay. Oh, adesso si vuole fare in inglese, yes, oh, make up stories, so who ah, else, okay. chi altro oh. non ha ancora parlato? Me? <laughs> Monica. <laughs> Monica, Monica, I thought you had, I thought you had, I thought... You had. Pensavo che l'avessi fatto. I thought you had mm -hmm. spoken. Yeah. Okay, so what's your opinion? Um, I teach uh, Italian and uh, the, the argument of this video. Uh, the topic or the subject? The topic of this video wasn't uh, for me, but I liked uh, that the video was short. And uh, I utilize, uh, uh, I found it useful. Uh, I use uh, short videos for my pupils because uh, in long videos they, they get, get bored. Uh, bored. bored. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So uh, I found it useful. Ah, oh, no, yes, argument, argument, sai cosa vuol dire? Vuol dire litigio. <laughs> Having an argument means uh, yeah. fight against somebody else. Uh, uh, yeah. Combattere, litigare con qualcuno. To have an argument uh, with yeah. someone means uh, litigare con qualcuno. Quindi subject yeah. oppure topic. Subject è la materia, topic è proprio l'argomento specifico, è più, è più ristretto come campo. So, topic yeah, or subject. Very well, yeah. Monica, very well. 
Okay, who else hasn't spoken yet? Chi ha I... ancora parlato? Assunta? I... Assunta, sì, okay. yes. Assunta, can you tell us your opinion? Allora, uh, I don't uh, teach science or math in my school, uh, but uh, in this moment, uh, in this particular moment, uh, I use uh, the videos uh, to explain, is correct? Yes. To explain my lessons uh, of arts or physical education. Mm. Mm. Um, because uh, the, school, uh, the schools are, are closed. closed. <laughs> yes. And do you find them useful? Do you find them useful? Vi trovi utili? Yes, uh, very useful. And um, I, I try uh, to, to make the videos uh, uh, with the... Uh, do you make... Uh, your own with the Python uh, and uh, the other app uh, apps in the in, in internet. Yes, I study. I study <laughs> for this. Yeah, if you want to, it's very easy. I can show you how to make videos. It's very yes. easy. I've lost you. Yes. Here you are. It's very easy if you want to. Next time on Friday, if you remind me, if you remind me. Mm -hmm. Se me lo ricordi, I can show you how to make a video with, uh, where are you now? There you are. <laughs> with a PowerPoint, it's very easy. Very, ah, very easy. I look at uh, this video of uh, Pauton. Um, uh, um, I don't uh, know Pauton. No. Ah, how do you spell it? Uh, no, Poton. Um, I look this video in uh, the exercise for. Uh, um, where, where did you find it? Um, link uh, in the chat for um, other. I wrote it for you. Okay, I wrote you. Okay, the site. No, Poton, to... the other no, app. The site mm. to make videos is uh, powerpoint powerpoint there are many sites but powerpoint yes. if you have a windows uh, is part of the video windows uh, you know mm -hmm. uh, with video um, tools. Okay. so okay. if you have i'll show you if you have a window mm -hmm. uh, if you go let's switch everything off if you go, maybe let's put this. If you go here, can you see my screen? If you mm -hmm. go start, you find yes. all the apps. Okay, I've got it here because I use mm -hmm. it often. Yes, yes, but yes, yes. If you go under alphabetical order, A, B, C, you reach a P, and there's a PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very easy to find, uh, to make any video with a PowerPoint. You can start from an empty presentation, mm -hmm. um, add as many, um, as many, okay, inserisci, nuova mm -hmm. diapositiva. Yes, so, yes, I know. You know, okay, you know how okay. to do that. Okay, si, yes. Si, si. PowerPoint, it's very useful to make videos or to make a funny exercises word wall echo word wall uh, learning no about uh, my word wall uh, i see word I watch. means parola wall means muro mm -hmm. quindi word wall è with the test uh, um, word wall. and simple uh, Answer, yes. Yes, okay. you can make a okay, lot of okay. funny exercises. Okay, thank you. Uh, with the word wall or learning apps. Learning apps is also very good, uh, you know, app. Okay. Okay, so anybody else who hasn't spoken yet? Welcome Maybe on. I'm the last one. The speaker. Ah, no, Adobe Giuseppe. Spark. Okay. What's this, Adobe Spark? Six. What happened? From Alessandra to everyone. Um, a video, uh, a type of video. Ah, a, a, a 
A screen of Matic is a program for uh, make a video. Okay, thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, so who else hasn't spoken yet? Can, Chi altro can. non ha ancora parlato? Chi era che stava dicendo? Giuseppe? Allora, I teach science and I use often the scientific method. I often use the scientific method. Uh, it's very important for my uh, pupils or children. Uh, uh, it's very important for the children to have uh, transmit curiosity. It's important to transmit curiosity to curiosity. the children. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank, it's very true. It's very, I absolutely agree with you. Absolutely. Io uh, assolutamente sono d'accordo con te, proprio al 100%. Yes, it's very important to transmit uh, the curiosity and uh, help them to ask themselves questions about the world. Sì, è importantissimo trasmettere la curiosità e aiutarli a farsi domande sul perché, ma in realtà in tutte le in all subjects, even I don't know history, it's a, it's a nonsense to learn in blah 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 it happened this and that. It's much better to say why did this happen? What brought to it? And what happened afterwards? You know, these kind of things. So this, uh, um, how, how can I say, inquiry mentality is very important. Bye, Valeria. If you have to go, don't worry. <laughs> oh, you were weaving oh, hello, to Francesca, Giuseppe. Francesca. Yes, you were, you were waving. Waving. Hello to Giuseppe. You were wave, allora wave anche ondra, onda del mare, a wave in the sea. Però to wave e fare così. Okay, okay. So you were waving hello to Giuseppe. No, to Francesca. Ah, were... uh, to Francisco. Where is Francisca? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Did you all say, hi Stefano, we're, we're all, almost finished. Uh, because I have another meeting. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, well, bye everyone. See you on Friday. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Uh, and meeting.